friends, it's me. You know when you go to a really fancy restaurant or you see it on Instagram, they got some crazy display of the food to make it look fancy. Like this restaurant served their meat on a clipboard. Excuse me, sir or ma'am. Clipboard is for papers. Who looked at it and was like, I'm gonna slap some salami, serve it up like this, and call it an appetizer. It doesn't even look good. Wow. They call these cupcakes. Imagine ordering a cupcake and they give you this. A whole entire milkshake with the glass coated in candy and a piece of cake on top. Oh my god, this sounds delicious. Choose your character. Rainbow sprinkle vanilla or chocolate? I'd probably do the vanilla. Beef curry in a toilet bowl. You know, beef curry sounds delicious, but in a toilet bowl. Oh, it's like one of those toilet restaurants. You sit on a toilet and eat out of a toilet. I mean, the food looks good. As long as the food good, you know, I'm down. As long as people don't be getting the toilets confused, I think this is fine. This restaurant served a salad on top of a glass that has a living goldfish inside. That's gross, weird. Why? What if somebody just just like thinks the goldfish is a part of it and just like mm, delicious. I didn't even order the fish fillet. Nothing says family gathering like eating spaghetti directly off the table. I mean this must be like super fun for the kids. Like the server comes with a huge bowl just like lump of spaghetti for you, lump of spaghetti for you, and lump of spaghetti for you. Just like straight on the table. They even all color coordinated for the greatest table spaghetti experience of their life. Speaking of restaurants, I actually opened my own restaurant. I've been playing this game called Cooking Diary, and it's actually really cool. So this is my pizza restaurant. We serve pizza, we serve ice cream, we have orange juice. It's pretty legit. And the service here, excellent. Look at all those tips. Delicious. So I just opened a pizza restaurant, and only one person has ordered pizza. Oh, finally. Yes, sir. Your pizza going right now. Pepperoni me, boy. Here you go. Extra spicy salami. Like, it's hard work running a restaurant. Like, people are impatient. When they want their food, they want it now. So you gotta work fast. Hey, get your coin. Oh my god, I forgot to cook her pizza. Man, how you gonna get upset with me? Like, a pizza gotta cook. Whoa! My camera literally couldn't handle it. There's so much more to this game than just cooking. There's a whole entire storyline with so many different characters. You can customize your restaurant however you want. Basically build your dream restaurant. Oh, this is me by the way. And there's so much character customization you can do. Oh, I like this. <gasps> Wow. Oh, that's cute. There's free regular updates. Oh, like the Halloween one. There's guild quests, player rankings. You can play with your friends. It's free to play and available for iOS and Android. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. Download Cooking Diary. It's delicious and a lot of fun. Oh, what is that? It's a drink served with a slice of brisket, some ribs, and some sausage. Okay, see, all of those sound delightful individually, but I don't know what that is, but I ain't drinking it. Oh, imagine if that was coffee. Ugh, the grease from the meat is gonna drip into it. Chef be like, for added flavor. Okay, take this drink and upgrade. You got a whole entire meal for a family of six inside this drink. <sighs> oh man, this is a party. I don't know how it's just supporting all of these. Y'all got a whole entire personal pizza, bag of fries. Oh my God, is that another drink in the drink? Oh yes it is. Salami sub sandwich, all the cornicons in the world. Ooh, fried chicken too. Man, there's something for everyone, unless you have a gluten allergy. <laughs> wow, this is a terrible meat to bun ratio. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is in my bank account, all with a sword going through them. Only King Arthur can forge the sword from the buns. Mmm, such a delicious breakfast shovel. Waiters just walk over with a dang shovel, place it in your plate. Breakfast is served. Okay, but it looked good though. <gasps> this is for me! Fish and chips and fried chicken and onion rings all on a ferris wheel. Where is this and how do I get there? Oh, my birthday's coming up. This is all I want. Meat served on a Barbie doll. Is this like a Korean barbecue place or something? Or maybe it's Beef Carpaccio. Y'all made such a fancy dress for her. Going to my meet and greet. <laughs> you know what? I think this is pretty creative. 
Over here we have an avo latte. For all you LA folk, a latte served inside an avocado. I mean, I like the idea of it because you're not wasting a cup and not getting a cup dirty. But seriously, imagine sipping your espresso from your avocado like I bet they ordered avocado toast too. Just use the shell. At a German restaurant, chef brings you this for dessert. A toothbrush and some toothpaste, what? You say my breast stank! The brush part is yogurt ice cream. And inside the little tube is a mint eucalyptus cream. Y'all went through all the effort for your dessert to put it in a tube so that they can have one bite for dessert. Like you bite the ice cream off the toothbrush. It's like eating toothpaste flavored ice cream. I'm confused. At this super fancy restaurant, they put three variants of foie gras, which is very expensive, duck fat. And they served it on an iPad. Ugh! Like they just opened up a wallpaper on an iPad and served it. Like if only we had something that we could serve food on, like a plate. No, sorry, we ain't got any of those here. Okay, but do I get to keep the iPad after? <laughs> The look on this dude's face like I ordered the cotton candy and I got this a whole Gigantula weave of edible cotton candy. Okay. Now that's just wasteful I feel like that's strictly for a picture cuz ain't nobody can consume that much cotton candy in one sitting I mean the rest of the desserts look good. That's obnoxious Imagine someone ordering dessert and then they bring you this most people are just gonna take like a nibble done Oh, you thought the avocado was bad? They serve coffee in a carrot. That's gotta be tiny. Like this big, unless you got some dummy thick carrot and then poured like the espresso in it. Hmm, okay, honestly, I would be down for this. I love carrots, I love me some espresso. Would pay $7.99 for this, which is probably how much it costs. What is this? Y'all served a sandwich in an egg carton with some guacamole. You got two hard boiled eggs, some mayonnaise, bacon. It's like they probably sounded really good in their head. Like, oh my God, we could put all of the dipping stuff in an egg carton. Um, what? Y'all could have just scooped it on and put it on a regular plate and it would have looked better than this. Oh man. The idea was good. The execution, not so much. This restaurant serves their food on literal bricks. Why? Imagine the server coming in holding two bricks on each hand, stacked with all the food on top, like, what if you drop one? It's not like dropping a plate. You're carrying a whole entire ceramic brick. All the employees gotta sign a waiver, like, heat our warning, toes may be crushed. And for dessert, we have the apple pie cheesecake. Or the chef special. Someone made a mess in the bed. What is this? What is it supposed to represent? I understand it's a bed, but is the bed even edible? Are these supposed to be stains in the bed? They're brown stains. Poor chef couldn't even make it to the bathroom that night and was like, oh, an inspiration for my new dish. What even is that? I mean, the bed looks delicious. If you could even eat it. This is just weird. Like they brought this out in front of me. I would ask the chef why. And he better have a good explanation. A restaurant in Atlanta serves your food on a hubcap. It'd probably be like, mm, that'll be $75 for the assortment of hors d'oeuvres. Mm. Nothing says delicious like a souped up 96 Honda Civic. Mmm, can almost taste the gasoline. You know what I heard about like these weird, unusual serving platters? They don't really wash them or they don't wash them as thoroughly because you can't just stick this in a dishwasher. I went to a restaurant. I ordered a drink that came in a skull head. I was like, y'all charge me $40 for a drink? I'm gonna keep the cup, okay? And I took the cup, I hid it in my jacket and then I went to the bathroom and then I dumped it out, I cleaned it out. I washed it over and over with soap and then I smelled the inside of it. It was so absolutely putrid. It was disgusting. I've never smelled something so dank in my life and I can't believe they served me my drink in that. And I took it home and I washed it and it still smelled horrible. I don't get it. <gasps> this restaurant serves a living salad and this is what they got. I mean, it doesn't get fresher than that. Literally the roots and dirt are still on it. Did y'all even wash it? If I wanted a living salad, I would have went into someone's backyard and ate their grass straight from the source. Oh, but then it won't come with the lemon wedges or our house special vinaigrette. This can only be in LA. At the fanciest vegan restaurant. Y'all just pull some leaves out of the ground and we're like, here. Okay, but I can't even respect a restaurant that can't even put ice in their water.
This drink is served inside a bell pepper. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I love bell peppers, specifically the green one. I know it gets a lot of hate, but it's my favorite. Also, I like the idea of this because you can eat the cup after you're done with your drink. Oh, I always wanted to go to this restaurant. They serve boba drinks, but in a light bulb. I didn't know they had huge ones. I thought they just had like the little one. Oh my God, it's so big and juicy. The green one is matcha, and then the brown one is milk tea. So basically milk tea and boba. Smash like if you tried boba before. Ooh, so this is a grilled cheese bagel. It's got cheese on all sides, and it's suspended above a bowl of tomato soup. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. They just looking out for you, cause then you don't have to like take it and dip it. Actually, I don't know how it works. On the menu in this fancy Italian place, we have a deconstructed spaghetti bowl. Basically, we give you all the necessary parts of a bowl of spaghetti. You just gotta mix them up yourself, okay? Like, can't you just order it with like light sauce or extra sauce? Like, it's necessary? And it looks gross. It looks like leftovers that have been sitting in the fridge for like a week. They serve sandwiches on tennis rackets. And I hate how they crisscross them because it's like one wrong move. Everything is gonna like explode. I mean, at least they had the decency to cut the crusts off. Apple fritters served in a gelatin shoe. Wait, can you actually eat the shoe? Cause that would be pretty cool. I mean, they even took the time to lace it and everything. Also, apple fritters sound delicious. How many people do you think try to eat this shoe? It looks like a gummy. Food served at an actual restaurant in a dog bowl. It's just off-putting. I don't want to go to a restaurant, pay $12.99 for a bowl of dog food. Do you see what they did here? They serve two olives. Olives on an olive tree. What? I only eat my olives served in a natural setting beneath the olive tree. I really wonder how much they paid for this. That gotta be the best, juiciest, saltiest, most aromatic olive I've ever had in my life. It's not gonna be hard to beat. <laughs> Are y'all for real right now? All of this, this entire display of the strawberry cut in half. Y'all playing musical chairs or something? Reality check, strawberries can't even play musical chairs. Reality is often disappointing. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, bye guys.